Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a brutally honest review of Skims Swimwear. Last year when they came out with their first swimsuit collection, I bought a couple of them, did a review. It was very hit or miss and uh, I'm excited to see if they've made some improvements on this collection. They also have new colors, new cuts, lots to try out and I won't be going at it alone this time. I'm super excited to have my friends join me in this review because you'll get to see all of our different perspectives and tastes and body types take on this new Skims swimwear collection. Some of us want more full coverage. Some of us want to just be able to look hot on the beach and some of us um this this one's at me just want to be able to go down a water slide and frolic in the ocean uh without our nips falling out is that too much to ask for <laughs> we have myself in a 2x paloma in a medium and ryan and rachel in a large so i'm gonna unbox them and then we're all gonna try them on here in studio to give our first impression but that is not where it ends this is not just a haul you guys it's a review we are putting them to the test in a major way. Uh, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> and you know, with summer on the horizon and this narrative of what it means to have a bikini body being so present, I know that a lot of us go into the season with a lot of baggage and a lot of emotional stress and maybe even anxiety about summer activities and, and needing to be in a swimsuit. And if that's something that you're struggling with, first of all, just know you're not alone. All of us in this video have dealt with that in different ways. Actually, Ryan, Paloma, and I I just filmed an episode today as I'm filming this about rejecting that bikini body narrative. It's on 20 whatever, I'm gonna link it in the description. So if you're feeling like you need a little bit more of that encouragement and inspiration going into the season, definitely check that out. Um, but without further ado, let's let's get skim, skimming. Let's skim, we're gonna be skimming and swimming. There it is. <laughs> there it is. So if you don't know, Skims is a, originally was a shapewear line. Now they do loungewear, swimsuits, obviously, but a line started by Kim Kardashian. And I, I have a lot of issues with some of the things that the Kardashians have done and promoted. But one thing that I do think Kim Kardashian has done really, really well is the groundbreaking size inclusivity with Skims. And that's a huge reason that I wanna do this video and I wanna review the collection because the list of brands that myself and my friends can try together and review together, it is, it is short, unfortunately. This should be the standard. I feel like we're moving that way and I wanna see more brands really open up the inclusivity like this because with Skims, they don't just have an extra plus size section. You know, it's its own tab, different cuts, limited supply. Everything they have comes in all the sizes and they have sizes extra, extra small to 5X. We love to see it and uh, I'm excited to get into it. So we've got our products. Starting with the swimsuit that I picked for myself. As you can see, it's it's a stack. Starting with these high-waisted swim mid-waist bottoms in the new electric blue color. I am really excited to try this one though because this is a cut that this is like pretty much my favorite cut of a swimsuit bottom. High-waisted, a little high cut. We've got a good amount of coverage in the back, but it still feels feels hot. <laughs> And actually this cut was available in their original collection, but it sold out. I wasn't able to get it. it I couldn't review it and now I can. So uh, we're gonna try these. The top I am scared for. <laughs> <laughs> this is the micro scoop bikini top. Emphasis on the micro. Actually, this is the swimsuit that Kim is wearing in like the, their big promotional image. So I feel like it'd be kind of fun to try it. Um, I actually, believe it or not, sized up to a 3X in this and everything else I have a 2X because it ties in the back. So I was like, okay, I can just tie it as tight as I need to. And I have a bigger chest as we learned in the bra video. So I thought, you know, I'll size up. I'll get get a little extra room. And I thank goodness I did, but also, oh my gosh, I am going to wear this on the internet. <laughs> this is, uh, this is small. The quality feels good though. It has a nice material. Stitching feels good. I'm nervous. I am deflecting. <laughs> But then uh, the last piece I got is a cover up. Again, another piece that Kim was wearing in the promo images and she paired this with the micro top. So I'm gonna do the same. I have been influenced. <laughs> These are a cover up 
cargo pant. So you can see they've got like the classic cargo uh, pocket on the side, they've got them on the back. Elastic, stretchy waist. It's a pretty lightweight material as I would want with a cover up. And I also, I, this is kind of what made me really want to get these on the website. They have a tie at the base of the leg. So you could wear them open as like a flare or you could cinch them as a jogger. And usually any sort of like beach pant is just way too long on me. It drags on the ground. So I figured this would be perfect for me. I am uh, like five, four and three quarters. So I got these in a 2X as well. And uh, let's go try all this on. Okay, so here is the first swimsuit. I'll give you uh, the full 360 view. <laughs> the bottoms, just to start off with the positives, fit perfectly. Like first impression, I am obsessed with these. The size is perfect, the fit is perfect. I, this is like my ideal cut. I just love these. I, I feel so good in these. Um, I, I don't quite share that level of enthusiasm with the top. <laughs> it is, uh, it's under boob central. <laughs> now, to be fair, it's advertised as the micro top. This is the way that Kim is wearing it in the photos. It's just a little, it's a little uncomfortable for me. It's new for me. I'm worried about this just sliding up a little bit and then everything <laughs> falling out. But there is something about the under boob moment that I kind of like aesthetically. I should say. I feel like I am not gonna be the most comfortable moving around in this. The straps are very thin. I had Paloma tie the back because the back you can tie. The straps are not adjustable. I had her tie this as tight as we could to hopefully give a little bit more support here, but it is still lacking a lot in the support. And because these straps are so thin and flimsy, they just keep twisting and I keep having to readjust like that. But I do really like the color, the material, and there, there's something about the underboob moment that I kind of like. First impression rating, I'm gonna give the high-waisted bottoms a nine and a half out of 10. In the top, uh, I'm gonna go four? That seems low though. Five, five out of 10. And I also have, thank you, Rachel, the pants. Oh my gosh, these pants, I think very well maybe like the hero piece of the video. Everything about these just is like perfect for me. I am obsessed. I love the look, I love the fit, I love the feel. The ties at the bottom of the pants worked out perfectly. They have that like perfect loose fit in the legs, but elastic waist that you can tie, so they're not gonna fall down at all. <laughs> I'm so excited about these. And, wait for it, wait for it, what do they have? They've got pockets and good pockets, deep pockets. And I feel like it's hard to find a, a really good, comfortable cover up that goes with the swimsuit. And I, I'm gonna be wearing these all summer. I'm so excited. <laughs> pants, I got, it's gotta be a 10. I have no bad things to say about these pants. I love them, obsessed. Okay, so next up we have Rachel. And <laughs> Rachel, when we were planning this video, you know, we I sent everyone a message like, hey, this is the video we're doing. If you wanna be part of it, let me know what styles you're comfortable in, what size you want, all the things. And uh, Rachel said, put me in literally anything. And we sure are. <laughs> This is the Lace Up Monokini in another one of the new colors, neon green. Um, I feel like the lace up part on the front is cute. You know, it's kind of like corsetti, but I'm interested to see how the back works. So uh, good luck to you, Rachel. <laughs> Hello, okay, here I am. Here it is. I like it. Like first impression is I really like it. I don't know if I ever, ever would have purchased something like this if it wasn't for like this situation, but I really like it. The color is awesome. I just got a spray tan. I unfortunately did not match my tan lines with the suit, but I feel like it looks so great against the color of my skin. Like I just, that I love. <laughs> there is a couple of fit problems. First of all, getting into this swimsuit was one of the more confusing experiences of my life. There's so many strings, you guys, so many strings. So my foot was going through the neck hole. My arm was going through the foot hole. It took a hot minute to get into it. But once I was in and everything was sort of where it's supposed to be, I think, I felt really good. I like it. The only problem is the bottoms, I guess. I know it's like all one piece, but uh, the bottoms are connected like through the front. And so the front is like always pulling it forward, which means that like this part of the suit is like always coming down and showing my butt crack. So I either have to have a wedgie or you see my butt crack. I'm choosing the wedgie for the moment. <laughs> I have a feeling that that's gonna be a problem throughout the day. It's, I'm just gonna be like constantly adjusting the back of it, but I do love 
like a backless moment. I have a tattoo right here that I love and I never, like people never get to see it. So I always love bathing suits that show off my tattoos. And yeah, I feel really hot, like color it fits. It's a, it's a large and I feel like that was the right size. I was going between a medium and a large. I typically wear like a size 10 in jeans, but then I'm an extra small or a small on top. So buying one pieces is really, really hard for me because if it's gonna fit my butt, it's gonna be too big up here. And if it's gonna fit my chest, it'll be too small down here. That's just like a constant problem I have with buying these bathing suits. But this, with the exception of the back pulling forward a little bit, a large was the right move. I wouldn't go any smaller and I wouldn't go any bigger. I'm really excited to go out and see how it does in the wild. This is one of those bathing suits that I feel like I'm gonna be really happy and comfortable taking pictures in, but not so happy and comfortable like walking around and I'm a little nervous to see how it like moves around and adjusts on me throughout the day. Cause like I have to be pretty posed to keep this in place the way I like it, but I do like it. So when I'm just standing here right now, first impression, I honestly am gonna give it like, I feel hot, I feel good. I'm gonna give it like an eight and a half out of 10. Our next swimsuit is for Ryan. Ryan is gonna be trying the strapless monokini. It is connected, the top and bottom, that's the mono in the kini, uh, but just, Slightly. <laughs> and then Ryan also has a matching cover up for it. This feels really nice. It's a Thai sarong. And I feel like usually when things are this lightweight, they feel kind of cheap, but this feels like silky and luxurious. This is nice. I mean, the quality of everything so far has felt really nice, but this especially is like, Wow, I want this. So let's go see how it works for Ryan. I'm not gonna lie, let me just start by saying this. I thought I was gonna come in a hater. I kinda wanted to a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, but I love it. I don't see really anything wrong, like first impressions wise. I put it on, that was kind of weird, considering like this looks like a one piece, but it's kind of giving two piece. I had to put my legs through the top, so it was giving like one of these, and then I put my leg through the bottom part. It was, we had a moment, but then we figured it out and it was fine. Honestly, it's giving model. I love the color. And I also got my nails to match. A little commotion for the nails, y'all. Woo! Let's <laughs> hear for the nails! The one downside, the major downside, is that there's a lot going on in the nether regions, okay? Um, stuff that I don't even know if we can show on YouTube. It's very cheeky. So if you're into that, you'll love these. If not, maybe skip. However, I do have a sarong. So we'll just throw that right on. Okay, so here's a sarong. I love it. I love that it's sheer, so it's not like covering anything. It's disguising. You know, we're not gonna be flagged. I really like the way this fits. I think it elevates the swimsuit. Like if I was gonna walk around on a boardwalk or something, like this is what I would put on. And it's giving like a full fit. Standing, posing, is giving. Now, if I were to like go in the water, we might flash the children and that's not, that's not what we want. So it does come with straps, which I think I'm definitely gonna bring just in case things get a little dicey. But right now I'm loving the strapless vibes. I ended up getting the suit in a size large and I got the sarong in a size large, extra large. And I'm normally a medium large, so this fits really well. Like I don't think I could have sized down or sized up. Like this is the perfect fit. I feel like I would give the suit itself a nine and a half out of 10. Is that too much? No. And I would rate this wrong a 10 out of 10. Like I'm about to wear this without the swimsuit. Okay, so the next set is for Paloma. It's all in this color almond. And I think she's just gonna look so freaking cute in this. So we have the ruched mini skirt. It has this ruching down the middle and adjustable ties at the bottom. So you can make it like shorter or longer depending on your coverage preference. And then underneath that, she's gonna be wearing the cheeky tanga bottoms. Paloma prefers more medium coverage swimsuits. So she just got this to match the color and just wear underneath. And then the top, this is one of the more unique cuts that I think Skims offers. It's the long sleeve bikini top. So it goes, <laughs> it essentially has, these are the sleeves. They're just attached here. And then it's like a strapless tie front top. So it's kind of like an off the shoulder thing, but long sleeve. Paloma loves this style, but she is a little bit nervous about the coverage and now seeing this in person, uh, definitely, a definitely valid concern. <laughs> so in case she isn't comfortable in this, she also picked out the swim crop top. It's called their swim t-shirt. It's basically like a little cropped rash guard. So that way she has some options to uh, choose what she feels most comfortable in. Here it is, ta-da! In all its glory, let's give it a little spin. Okay, okay, and I'm moving super slowly. We'll get to that. I really like this suit. The color is so gorgeous and the material is just super duper soft. And I like medium coverage, so the skirt really like makes me feel confident and like safe in there. Um, but I can't say the same for this top. If I turn to the side a little bit, there is some side 
boob, some tasteful side boob. I'm really worried about the under part because it doesn't feel as secure. And th there's a like little thing that I would love. The sleeves are attached to the top. So I feel like I can't like move as much. So right now it's really nice to like stand here and like look pretty, but I'm worried about when I have to like use my arms because it's attached here. Putting this on actually was a <laughs> interesting i put it on like over like a shirt and then realized it would be just so much easier to like open it and throw it on like a sweater and then tie it i really like this skirt it's just super secure it's super soft in the material so i can get it wet so i don't have to like take it off and i can just have this full coverage even when i'm in the water so i really excited about that. With my size, I'm still kind of trying to figure out which size I fit into. Sometimes it's a small, medium, or large. Like it really varies, so I didn't know which to get. So on average, I was like, okay, safe in the middle would be a medium. And so I just got all medium, and maybe the top should have been a large, I don't know. First impression, I think I have to give this top like a, ugh, it hurts to say because it's cute, but just so cute just for standing, I think. So, I think I'm gonna give the top a 5 out of 10 because of the mobility, but the skirt in these bottoms, like 9 out of 10. Like, I don't think, I'm, you know what, I kind of want to give them a 10 out of 10. I was just gonna say, what else could it be better? No. The bottom, these right here, 10 out of 10. I really like these. I'm gonna get, I want to get one in like every color. And since the top's a little iffy, I have a backup. <laughs> in case if I need more coverage, I'm bringing this guy along. Wow, it like connected this. Wow, I just got like a full like rash guard type of vibe, huh? Um, this kind of top makes me think like when I'm going in sport mode, like if I'm in Vegas, I want to go from the pool party like out, I can just throw this on top and ta-da. The rating for this top, I could say 10 out of 10 because I don't see anything wrong with it. No, yeah, a 10. Skim Swim really markets itself as more than just swimwear. It's fashion forward, you can wear it as an outfit, you can dress it up, and you can wear it to the pool. So we are gonna be putting these to multiple tests starting at Belmont Park. We are styling our swimsuits into outfits to hang on the boardwalk, do some rides, play some games, and uh, see how it looks, see how it feels. We'll find out. As soon as I stepped into Belmont Park, I realized I have made a grave error in rating the skirt so high. So every time I take a step, the skirt just comes up, and so it was a lot of shimmying down to pull it back down. While I'm walking around Belmont Park, I'm honestly not even conscious of how weird the swimsuit feels. I'm not sure if it's because I get to wear my jeans and shirt to cover it up, but just as a shirt, I feel like I look so cute walking around this park. Everybody's staring at me, and it's not because I'm taking a million selfies. It's because I'm super hot. There is no point in which the suit is at all a hindrance to me. At Belmont Park, I'm feeling so hot and so good. I genuinely feel like I invented this swimsuit. Like I invented blue. I feel so good. I feel like wearing this underneath my clothes really just gave it bodysuit vibes. So it didn't feel like I was wearing a bathing suit outside. You know what I mean? I love my outfit for Belmont Park. I, I think especially it's the pants that are doing it for me. I just feel so, so cool, which I am not someone who usually feels very cool, but I feel very cool in these pants. And so I feel like I wasn't even really thinking about anything else in terms of my outfit. Just feeling good, having fun with my friends, really being present and enjoying everything. Going on the roller coaster is one of my favorite activities, but I'm realizing as soon as I'm on the roller coaster, I am restricted in my arms because of the suit, and so I can't fully go up because as soon as my hands go up, top comes up, and then out come the girls. <laughs> While we're at Belmont Park, I still feel like this suit is a nine and a half out of 10, eight and a half out of 10, whatever I gave it when I first tried it on. I do love that the skim swimsuits are, you know, so cute and trendy that they can be styled into an outfit. It really is aesthetically a lot more than just a swimsuit. Someone asked if we're a girl group and I feel like that's the highest compliment. We could be, should we be? <laughs> After Beaumont Park, we went over to the beach to take some pictures, play in the sand, enjoy the beautiful ocean view. Honestly, this suit is made for taking photos. I'm feeling hot, I'm feeling good, I'm still feeling super confident. The only thing that's bothering me about this suit is the fact that 
The back is so small. Listen, your girls got an ass. I just can't help it. I was born this way. You would think the Kardashians would build a swimsuit for girls with big asses, but they don't. The suit is either up my butt or it's so far down you can see my crack. And I am super conscious of that while we're taking pictures on the beach because I'm not trying to moon everybody. It happened anyway. I, uh, but you know what? Those pictures are for my husband and he'll enjoy this. Taking pictures in the suit felt really confident because I wasn't moving as much. I, can, I feel like I can only use it for photos. It's really like a click. Okay, let me adjust and then click again. I would pack this suit in my bag just to get pictures and then I would switch into a suit to get into the water. So definitely for aesthetic, but not for function. I feel really confident in this at the beach. I thought I would feel more uncomfortable and I, I honestly thought the top would move around a lot more, but for just walking on the beach, collecting some seashells, posing for photos, it stayed in place pretty well. That being said though, I'm not fully going in the water and as, as like someone who is such a beach girly, I don't think I could wear this for like a going in the ocean beach day because I would feel held back. And when I'm at the beach, I just wanna feel free. And as much as I'm worried about this top, the bottoms are just not even a thought. They're just so low maintenance. They stay in place so nicely. I love the cut. I feel so good in them. And I'm really excited to see these photos because I am feeling myself. At the beach, I'm still feeling really hot. However, I am so glad that we brought the sarong situation because without that, I would be giving camel toe realness. And honestly, there's a time and a place for that. And that was not the time or the place. It's so fun to watch the girls just posing and feeling themselves and, and being confident in these swimsuits. I feel like being around that energy makes me feel more confident and the hype that they were giving me in front of the camera made me feel like even though maybe this isn't a swimsuit top I would have picked for myself, I am just as worthy of wearing it as anyone else. beach, we came over to the plunge to put these swimsuits to the ultimate in the water test with their obstacle course. After a full day wearing these suits at the boardwalk, at the beach, on the rides, this is the first time we are really getting these into the water and actually doing the swim part of the swim suit. <laughs> Okay, thank God for the straps that came with the swimsuit. Doing the obstacle course would have been, uh, I, we would have flashed everybody. And that, again, not the time or the place. So thankfully we had the straps and made it easy to do activities. However, I was getting a little bit of under boob even with the straps. So this is really cute and it's gonna give for the pictures. If you're looking to do activities and sports, I may stay away from this one. I'm extremely competitive and I felt the, the suit restricting me. So I was like, okay, this is not an outfit that I'm wearing for competing on a course. The skirt always just having to keep pulling it down, especially while on that course, I had to just keep readjusting because the skirt kept sliding down, sliding up. It just wasn't really in place when wet. I will say when I went into sport mode and I put this top on like the more like coverage rash guard on top of the top, the sleeve and my shoulders and my chest was very covered so I felt like I can just dive and slip and slide but if I just would have done it without this rash guard and just the top on the bottom I would have absolutely been out. I was feeling great about this bathing suit all the way up until the point where I actually had to use it for its intended purpose in the pool. All day I'm looking cute, I'm feeling hot, I'm super confident in this suit and then we get to the pool, I get in the water and I'm like Oh, that's right. This suit is not meant to be swam in, which is weird because it's a swimsuit. I can feel the backside riding down like with the weight of the water. And then when we started jumping through the obstacle course, listen, I'm already a baby when it comes to these kinds of things. I'm like terrified of falling. I have a really big problem with heights and I just like in general don't like to be out of control. And so I was already nervous and then I look down and my tits are out. In the water, this suit is pretty good. I feel like this would be an easy one to wear if you are a, a lounge by the pool girly, you know, maybe just go for a quick dip. But if you're wanting to hit an obstacle course, uh, maybe go for a different cut. <laughs> the obstacle course is a little intimidating. I feel like especially as a plus size girl, I get in my head about my ability, but I did it. I fell a couple times, I got back up, I did it, and it felt really, really good and empowering. Granted, I think I may have had better luck if I didn't have to have one hand like this, but half the time. <laughs> 
Well, my final rating for the cargo pants is easy. It's a freaking 10 out of 10. I'm obsessed. I love them. I want them in every freaking color. The high-waisted bottoms, I'm gonna give a nine out of 10. The only reason it's not a 10 is there were a couple times where I kept having to de-wedgeify myself. Would have preferred to not have to do that, but it, was, it wasn't a frequent problem. And the top, oh boy, um, you know, I'm gonna go five out of 10. With all the criticisms I gave, that may seem a little bit high, but I think it is really cute. I felt fairly confident in it when we were just lounging and walking and doing low impact things. But Kim definitely did not build these for an obstacle course. <laughs> it's so hard to say if my rating at the end of the day is the same as my rating when I first tried it on because I genuinely feel like this suit is like an eight and a half, nine and a half for aesthetics and for pictures. But if we're gonna be judging the functionality, this suit is a zero. Like I would never again wear this suit in the pool, but I will wear the suit again, you know what I mean? So I think I'm gonna have to bump the overall rating down to like a, I don't wanna give it a bad rating cause it's so cute, but I think I'm gonna give my final rating as like a four, four and a half because it's just like literally a swimsuit that you cannot wear in the water. And what is that about? You know what I mean? I think I would still give this swimsuit a nine out of 10. I think with the straps, like I said before, a 10 out of 10, you need the straps. Otherwise, it's giving Instagram. I would give this sarong a six out of 10. I know before I said it was giving 10 out of 10. It's cute, but it rides up. I took one step, it was up here. And I was like, okay, well, it's not what I bought you for. Unfortunately, overall, at the end of the day, I don't feel the same way about my suit. And it breaks my heart because it was so cute and I felt so confident wearing it. And I know I rated it so high. I gave these bottoms like a 10 out of 10 because they, I felt so confident and secure in them. But once I started walking, that just went super low. I think I would have to update my rate to like five out of 10 for the skirt and the top for like mobility and like actually wearing this top to swim down to a three. It's, it's just for pictures. Well, you guys, that is all we have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the review. Be sure to follow Rachel Ryan and Paloma on their Instagrams and YouTube channels. I'm gonna have them all linked in the description. Huge thank you to The Plunge for having us here. If you're in San Diego, definitely check them out. We had such a blast. Uh, but that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Be confident, be kind. To your body and we'll see you next time. Bye!